Hello everyone, this is Jeff Petkus, Senior Director of Product Management for Operative. I'd like to first thank everyone for joining our webinar today entitled Media Productization Strategies, Realizing the True Value of Your Online Inventory, featuring Joanna Bloor, Vice President of Sales Operations for Pandora. Joanna has close to two decades of business operations and sales experience and brings a valuable leadership perspective to Pandora. She is a seasoned veteran of operations and sales within both startup and established organizations and has worked within the technology, online media, restaurant, and retail sectors to deliver top-notch, strategically significant process system design and implementation for all levels of an organization from coordinator to executive. Most recently, Joanna was AVP of Sales Operations with CBS Interactive where Joanna drove the custom design and implementation of an over $800 million supply chain system for their digital and subscription businesses and directed and drove strategy for the $18 million second tier revenue business. Joanna's tenure also includes sales, operations, and strategy at OpenTable.com, Classified Ventures, Interactive Corp Ticketmaster City Search. Before I hand the call over to Joanna, a few housekeeping items. If you would like to ask a question, please type your question into the GoToWebinar question box, and we will try our best to respond to each at the end of the presentation. If you would like us to ask a question offline, we have included our email addresses at the end of the presentation. Okay, with that, I'd like to hand the call over to our guest speaker, Joanna Bloor. Joanna? Thank you, Jeff. So why don't I start by talking about what uh, we're going to talk about today. And it's the reality of we're in a digital world and um, we've got a lot of complexity about how to take an order from the beginning to the end of idea all the way through to invoice. So what I want to talk through is what are we actually trying to solve here and a little bit of background around how did we get here, um, why is managing the supply chain and managing building ad products so complicated for us and what continues to drive this even moving forward. And then some suggestions around what we can do as an industry, as individuals, with systems and process and all of that good sort of stuff to start to solve the problems and some of the experiences that I've had working in the media industry to work through some of these issues and actually come to a place where you can build and scale your business across all of the areas from forecasting all the way through to invoicing. And then around those ideas, some of the thoughts around how to execute against them if they are not part of your day-to-day -day business within your um, particular media company. So let's start with what is the actual problem we're trying to solve. So I'm going to back up a second and talk a little bit about the real world versus the digital media world. In the real world, whether you're building cars or baking cookies or building anything, the first step in the process that you take is you think about all of the parts that you're trying to put together. Um, you look at how are we going to build these. If you go to, it's the, the very basic concepts of Henry Ford of making your supply chain and putting all of the parts together in the most efficient way. You then also identify what are the cost of the materials. So uh, what, is the, you know, what is the rubber going to cost? What is the metal going to cost? All of those sorts of things. And as your build business um, develops and scales, you adjust the supply chain. So if I was going to use a cookie analogy, so I'm a store and I'm going to start baking cookies, I will look at I need sugar and I need oatmeal and raisins for my oatmeal raisin cookies and I'll need chocolate chips for my chocolate chip cookies and then all of a sudden I say I have a very successful cookie business but now I want to start baking cakes. While I'm still baking, I'll need to make adjustments to my supply chain to manage against the cake baking versus the cookie base baking. And as I'm looking at all of this, I'll be looking at, well, how many cookies or how many cakes am I going to be baking or how many cars am I going to need to build and deciding whether um, I'm going to have an inventory that is available and I'll have waste or if I'm going to take a just-in-time inventory management process. And then you start selling. It's your standard business plan. Well, in the digital media space, 
we have a slightly different process in that the first thing that a lot of media companies do, before they even potentially know that they are going to be a media company and have an ad-supported model, is they'll build out the site or the product for the user and they'll really start driving audience and traffic to that. And then at some point in that conversation, somebody says, gosh, maybe we should put an ad on the site now that we've got scale. Or um, in the case of Pandora, Apple comes to Pandora and says, gosh, you've got a really great product out there. We'd like to put an ad on your site. And they buy out the entire month. But you start out with something very basic where you're potentially hard coding ads on the site, doing a very simple sponsorship. And the complexity is just not there. And then as time goes on, you start hard coding more and more ads into the system, in, onto your site. And gosh, all of a sudden, you start saying things like, wow, we need to organize ad serving. Or you start talking to agencies who have third-party rich media tags. Or you want to connect your site into an ad exchange. And so you put in some sort of ad serving system. Um, then the next step is all of a sudden, um, the finance team is coming back to you and saying, gosh, this isn't a very scalable process. We need to start putting controls around how we're putting out orders together. We need to have proper paperwork. And you'll put in some sort of order management and or some sort of CRM application. And as the business evolves, you start building all of the systems and processes from really what I'd consider the back end of the supply chain all the way through to the front end of the supply chain. And while certainly in, um, gosh, any media company I've worked for, there's absolutely a focus on um, the product for the user, which is the external user interface. Um, and there is also somewhat of a focus on the product for the advertiser and creating the product. There's not usually thought put into how do we adjust and or change our supply chain to adapt to the new products that we are creating for our advertisers. Um, and because we've built our supply chain from the back of the process to the front of the process, so from ad serving 